What is going on YouTube, Fezza family? Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all the latest UK media updates and story videos. And of course, if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram at Fezza5 to get all the updates first. J Huss versus Kojo Funds. This is a little throwback one for you guys. I did 9s and CBiz recently that done good numbers, so I know you guys like these videos. So I want to touch on what happened between these two. It's been going on for quite a while now. And obviously, Kojo Funds is from Custom House and J Huss is from Stratford. These two areas are both in Newham and are only about 20 minutes apart and obviously had problems before the whole Jay Huss and Kojo funds thing. It was on road that it was going off. So it started on the roads and it's transferred into music, which Kojo funds even said in an interview. And um, they clearly have problems with each other, but they're not very direct about it. I mean, Kojo funds has been asked about it on Vlad TV and didn't really comment, but they have sent shots across the years, which I will touch on for you guys. And of course, breakdown. But guys, what do you want to see next? Do you guys want to see the Bugsy and Chip breakdown of their beef? Do you want to see the Seabiz and Fredo? What do you want to see next? Comment below as always. I like going through the comments. You guys always pick the latest video ideas. And if you didn't see my Bugsy Malone the story video on Monday, make sure you check that out. Let's get into this video. So guys, first things first, Kojo Funds and J Huss, their beef first started when Kojo Funds thought J Huss was dissing him on Twitter. I can't find any tweet, anything directed at him, but Kojo Funds took it that way and he was in an interview saying that J Huss was dissing him on socials. And strangely enough, J Huss made a song called Want From Me and Kojo Funds actually remixed the song, which would be showing them love. So that was a weird thing that happened early on in this beef, is that Kojo Funds remixed one of J Huss's songs. I don't know if Jay Huss took it as disrespectful that Kojo Funds would just like bite on one of these songs, but he did actually respond on a song called Della Jaw and actually go at Kojo. He said, Little Kojo's scared, Kojo's stressing, Kojo ran off, left his blessings, left his pride, left his brethren, Kojo's lying, time for confessions, Kojo what, Kojo who, Kojo, oh, I got more funds than you. Very direct from Jay Huss and the first shot he sent at Kojo Funds. And he also said, don't act foolish, you know what your crew did. So um, he was actually stabbed and I think this was a reference that Kojo's people was the ones that made that happen. So he was saying don't act stupid to Kojo, you know what this is all about, them two having that kind of beef. And then confirmation come out, it was something to do with Kojo's people because Kojo made a reply track um, called Araba. And in that, Jay Huss in the hospital after he got stabbed was actually the thumbnail. It was just a bit blurred. And he replied directly to Jay Huss in this song. He said some deep stuff. He said, I'll catch him slipping like black butter that I cut him up with a black cutter and I leave him in Stratford gut. Also in that song, of course, he said 16th, yeah, that's my postcode. You don't want to come to my zone. Obviously co-signing where he's from and literally co-signing the beef against Jay Huss and his people. The end of this track was so deep and literally one of the harshest things. He said, stab to your chest, say, oh man. Of course, Jay Huss had been stabbed. He said it again, stab to your chest, say, oh man. And he said, hustler crazy, hustler crazy, ah, squarehead. Um, of course, Jay Huss, Jay Huss normally says hustler baby and he said hustler crazy and he called him a squarehead at the end. But in the track Kojo Funds made called Warning, it was a bit more direct because he said it's a warning, catch a pagan boring. Jay Huss had been stabbed, of course. It's a warning, catch a pagan snoring. Kojo Funds had the song Done Talking and a lot of people believed he was done talking in a Jay Huss beef going back and forth with him and wanted to take this to the roads and actually do something about it. And Jay Huss did actually respond to this on most Stats track dealers and robbers. He said, I thought they was done, but they're talking again. Jay Huss basically saying that Kojo Funds are doing more talking by even making that song and still that they're going back and forth and there was a clear beef and stuff would happen in the future as well. But this was the early disses on actual tracks that they had against each other. So Jay Huss was jailed for eight months for carrying a knife back in December 2018. Um, basically he was caught carrying the blade in Stratford, East London, near to where he lives, up near the Westfields. And um, this was crazy. Kojo Funds actually took time to respond to it. And um, Jay Huss has carried a knife before, so he's lucky to get the sentence he did. And Kojo Funds was basically saying that he shouldn't be carrying when he's got all that fame in this position. He should have people around him that can do stuff like that for him. Let's get into that clip. Carry shit on the roadside, they ain't real, they're not real to you, fam. You feel me? So, you should use your brain. Listen, man, should have clocked this shit from the beginning. You get me? You're not gangster, brother. You're not gangster. You ain't been out here, man. Man's really been out here since 08. You feel me? You just come around, brother. 
You're there around some fake ass niggas, bro. Mm. You get me? Like, come on, man. You should have clocked it from the beginning. Nah, you're facing some some struggles right now. Like, you're stressed, brother. Are you gonna feed your family if you're not around? You feel me? Come on, man. To be honest, without this being a diss, I do understand where Kojo Funds is coming from. That Jay has had so much money, he's putting himself in silly situations, which I'm sure he's going to learn from. But him being stabbed before is probably why he carried it, worried about something could happen to him again, especially being in that area and the stuff just going on. But Kojo Funds also continues and talks more on the subject. You're making stupid mistakes, silly mistakes, because you have niggas around you, fam. The real niggas are not letting, not telling you what one. You feel me? Like, fuck them niggas anyway, man. They're a bunch of pussies anyway. Bro. Shout out Beast as well, man. That's my brother. You get me? More of the story, people. Keep real niggas around you. You see it? If you are meant for this, you are meant for this, brother. <laughs> also, real gang shit, brother. <laughs> this is CB. I'm a rapper. I'm just a rapper. That's it. Jay Huss served half of his sentence during four months and he was brought out by Drake as soon as he came home and had one of the biggest comebacks in 2019, which was absolutely crazy. And not long after, a freestyle dropped and a lot of people were saying these were all shots at Kojo Funds and there is some stuff on there that I can see where they're coming from. E15, E15, BCM, BCM, BCM. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. They was talking all that riff raff. One call on my gift gaff. Get your ass splish splash. I got whiplash the way the whip crash. Got beef till the world end. Could you diss us? So we fucking all your girlfriends and all your sisters. And my uncle go curse them if I send a picture. Or maybe if I bless him, he'll get the picture. To be honest, every person is just a sinner. So you think I won't murk him? I beg to differ. All them pussies get my middle finger. Poker pussy with my trigger finger. Knuckle duster on my wedding finger Lick my thumb and count up every figure E15 resident <laughs> Of course Jay Huss again repping his area in his freestyles Talking about where he's from And direct shots at Kojo Funds there Of course you guys must have picked that up Just directly going at him Talking about when he was inside Kojo Funds was talking about him And don't think that he won't do anything to him because everybody is a sinner, which is very true. That was a cold freestyle. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Comment below who you think won this beef and do you think it will continue and who do you think is the better rapper. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the latest UK updates and story videos. Peace out.